Hi, good people. It's your boy Kosi of Talks for Night TV. Hi, Precious. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, can you introduce yourself to our viewers? Okay. Um, my name is Uzem Precious Amarachi. Um, I'm a 3 level student of Accountancy Department, Namdi Azekiwe University, and I'm the SDG president of the Student Union Government. Okay, SDG president of the Student Union Government <laughs> <laughs> of Namdi Azekiwe University. Wow, so um, Precious, where are you from? Okay, I'm um, from Isialangwa of Abia State. Wow, all the way from Abia State, you came to Anambra State and you conquered we Anambrians. That's cool. You look very young. How old are you? Ah, it's not for the camera. I'm not going to tell them. It's not for the camera. I'm all at home. <laughs> I, seriously, you want to know. I'm not, I'm, not telling, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Are you above 20? It's nobody's business. <laughs> I'm not She's saying. shy. Can you imagine? Well, it's good, Sha. She looks very young. And I'm sure she must be very young. And yet, she handles this huge position. Anyways, um, what's your view on politics? <laughs> politics. Ah. Uh, um, what I think about politics is that politics is just an avenue to toughen one, as in to toughen, it, to toughen the person. I see, I see politics as a challenge. It's something that, okay, because there are a lot of contenders when it comes to politics. So it's you coming up with, it's like, oh, can I beat this? Can I do this? Can I do that? So it's... It comes with, it's like, it's a, it's a challenge. I see it as a challenge. Politics generally as a challenge. Wow. She sees politics as a challenge. Hmm. Challenge. Okay. That's cool. So, um, during the last SCG elections last year, she, you campaigned to be the vice president of Nanda Zikri University Student Union Government, and you won. How did you do it? Okay. I won, yes. I think my secret is first and foremost is something that I'm proud of. It's God. I know God really helped me. He helped me greatly. Then my friends, my classmates, oh God, they were sweet. My classmates, um, then work as in what were you supposed to do at this point in time, doing them, this little little thing, all these things, little little thing matters. Yeah, your strategies to okay, what do you intend to do to achieve this? Uh, implementing those strategies that you have, and my parents too, they help me, they helped a lot, and my pastor too, he he really supported me, so that I can't forget Pastor Obi Obi, he really helped me. Yeah. Wow. So, so in general, our um, SUG presidents, who was once or started out as a vice president, is trying to tell us that people and God. We are the forces that drove her to become what, where she is or who she is today. Yes. That's wonderful, man. You know, you can't do people in this life. Yeah. Anyways, um, so how does it feel to be the first ever female pres SGM student body going president? <laughs> okay, um it's it's um I feel good, yes, I feel good. You know, you get to uh you get some kind of respect. People look up to you, a whole lot of people from the school administration, from the students, from outside. And then a little bit like, wow, are you serious? The first, wow, congratulations. But then it's it's demanding. It's it takes a lot because you have to be strong inside. You know, most times when people see me, they're like, oh, this this one, she's looking I look very fragile. Like they say, I'm not sure she can do this, I'm not sure she can do that. But it's it it takes more in the inside. It's not just about the appearance. It's not just about how you look. It's more about you. More about the inside of you. What can I offer? I can do this. It's it's it takes it takes me the inside, not just not just the whole you're saying, but the inside of me. So it's challenging and it's cool because like it's can I like, challenge myself? Yeah. Sometimes like, when I come back, I'm like ah, more. It's not, as I, it's not as I expected, it's just okay, but it's not that kind of a thing. <laughs> wow, she's brave. That's good. Um, I'm sure everybody would like to know how you got here. Seriously, like, what really happened? Vice President and President. I mean, your name is not Bill of Jonathan, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I, I said as Vice President, 
Because, um, after that, from December 15, I was sworn in as the vice president of the Sunni government, Nanda Zikri University. And during the the my my stay as the vice president, me and the other executives, the sec secretary general, the PRO, the the whole executives that because we are nine the executive, we had issues with our president. We had some issues with our president, and. Um, from the very start, from when we started, from January when we started, uh, we started fully. We had issues with him. We tried calling him to other, okay, President, please, this is not how we should, please, let's go this way. President, this is not, how we, this is not the way things are done. Please, please, and this and that. We all are elected, but, you know, our president, the former president, he ignored all this and um, he made decisions himself. He didn't regard the people he was working with. But, you know, you know, in life, People you work with matter a lot. Yeah. The respect you give to people, the the way you make people feel important, those that you're working with, it, it all this all this goes a long way with how um, you can achieve a whole lot. Because you don't expect to run the government. It's a government that we everybody was elected, but you can you can imagine, um, just one person is running the government, and it's, a, it's called it's unionism. Yeah. It's it's union is not just one person. So it was like an autocratic kind of system, you know, government then. Although we called, tried calling to other, we went to court. That's the um, the the SJC, that's the Student Judicial Council, to see if he what he refused. Then, um, the the eight of us, that's the eight executives, we made apart from him, that's making nine. The eight signed a vote of no confidence to him. We gave to the school authorities, and um, uh, when we gave the school authorities, the school authorities were like, okay, you guys can't you guys reconcile or something, but. As in the country that we told him, see, this, this is what happened. This is what he, he didn't want to change. So we had to go to the SRS that see, we don't want this young man anymore. And um, we moved on with the impeachment. And um, I was sworn in as the president. Wow. Very back. This is good. Seriously. In school politics, things are this intense. So the young man was adamant about the whole pleas and everything. Wow. Um, we got an information that the said young man piloted the protest in school last week. What did SUG do about it? Okay. Um, he piloted. He piloted the protest in school. Then the security department had to go there, and um, the some SSS officials that were in school, they were able to get like I think one or two persons. And um, it went viral, so he put it on net. He put it on net, and he wrote that he did the protest in Agulu and Newi, whereas, whereas it was he did it in in Okahe. Okay. Wow. And he ran when those exercises came. He ran away. <laughs> I thought he was he was he was brave enough. He should have stood and you know that kind of thing. Yeah, that's that's really bad. Seriously, that's really bad. <laughs> this is fun. It's so intense politics. Haha, <laughs> yummy. Well, anyway. you know, we have something. You no, know, some, something funny. As in, this is just funny to me because actually, when I came into this, um, I saw it as a platform mm, where I could develop myself. Like, it's I see this student as a self development because you know, in this position, you get to meet people outside, yeah. and you know, sometimes you walk towards the future, not just about now. Yes. And with their school admission, I just I saw it as a place where I could develop myself. Then, for future for future purposes, then. But well, when I came to the system, it was a whole lot different. My president, my former president, made it seem like ah, it was a do or die thing. He he really made it so unbearable for us. No, well, that's not cool at all. So, um, what do you feel about him suing the VC? <laughs> Childish, and um, like I said, he had no he did always have a good back and so he can do whatever he wants he, he i don't know i don't i don't even know why he he doesn't want to learn i think you know all the things he, i don't know why he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to calm down i don't know why but i just see he's just, just been childish because even when they they i can, I can remember when they asked his age because when there are some there are some characters he exhibited before now the way he the way he behaved they asked his age when they found out his age you're like oh he's a kid Wow. So you're saying that um, he doesn't have concrete basis for whatever he's doing? Yes. Yeah. That's intense, like I said before. <laughs> intense. Um, so uh, the SUG week is coming up, right? Yes. What are your plans? 
<sighs> okay, it's yesterday week. It's usually the biggest week in the school, in the whole of the students' curriculum, the student activities. And, um, ha. <sighs> Every year, the student expects a artists to come up to you know to come up and like show themselves like hey 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 that kind of thing. Well, this SDG week this year, like previously, look in the previous previous SDG week, way back from the time when Bishop was the SDG president, then Terry was one of the biggest. Yeah. Terry was one was was the main thing then. So he came in for the SDG night. Oh, it was so gaga. Um, I can't remember who came for here. I think the person that came for Queen was Risha Femi. Yeah. Risha Femi came. Now, um, over the years, big actors come. So, so it's really a spread to see these big actors. And um, this year, it's usually a one-week program. From Sunday to Saturday. Well, from Sunday is um, the worship experience. Oh, my God. We're going to worship God. Mm. We're going to say, God, you good. Uh -huh. God, you are kind. God, you sweet. God, you love me. Come on. Good. <laughs> Then on Monday we're gonna do the health fitness day. That's I think this this, this is the first of its kind involving sports. This, it's also the cycling day, cycling um, from different individuals, hostels will be competing amongst themselves. The skating, marathon race, and the chairs, the chairs and um, the the health the health people will come check free medical checkups for the students on a particular day. I wish I'd be then, <laughs> then Tuesday is um, old school day. You know, I'm gonna look like Papa. You know, when my father was old with the Akitikola of which kind of shoe, the Volkswagen kind of car, the bicycle. You know, those old the rickety rickety. You know, yeah. time. You know, yeah. Not then life is sweet yes, now. <laughs> Cause I'm wearing an old gown, you no know, old school gown. I, I noticed it. <laughs> nice fashion. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> as I was saying, the and evening the we training for the young ladies um for their course to learn how to make soup, to learn how to make all these things. Then on Wednesday is the rag day. The rag day. You don't know how it goes. The rag day. Ah. Oh, that supports me. I be student. Okay, the day when students don't be <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, it's the rag day. Uh, it's rag day. Ah, uh, charity day. What is your own problem? Uh? Uh -huh. well, I remember my experience when I was here. It was so funny. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't do rag day. For your mind, big boy. <laughs> no, you, I, we, don't, we don't do rag day, uh, man. <laughs> I, I did it to my year one. Oh, it was crazy. How much did I make? I think I made. Seven thousand that day. So I bought phone now. I added my phone. <laughs> I bought phone, new phone. So we talk. Bless us. Start your one again. I do that. <laughs> so then on that day, there will be the entire section for all leaders, only leaders, for faculty presidents. You know, as leaders, um, we have to learn from people that are bigger, that, that are way higher than us, so that we can be better leaders. Because I become better leaders because I think if um my predecessor, the one before me. If he went through this training as a leader, I don't think this problem would have ensued. Something like that. That's all. Yes. Then the third is cultural day. Oh my God, I really look forward to that cultural day. Huh? There will be competitions, though. like soup competition between Yoruba, because we're Yoruba students in the school, yeah. Yoruba students, then Anambra and Abia Viva. So you know, different people come cook. Uh, Diverse cultures. Yeah, yes, yeah, different cultures. That's good. They'll, they'll be cooking. Because this year, I really want students to be involved. I want the SUG. Let them. Uh, SUG day, SUG day, feed the SUG. Did you just say cooking? Yes, yeah, so, so I, I feel conscious. No. Uh -uh. No. Why now? No. If you want to chop, eh? Mm. The only condition that will make you chop mm -hmm. is you. if you give the gifts, you give us, you can give us like 50k now. To Only. Best price. Only. Then all the soup that you cook that day, we'll package your own for you. Then we'll give it to you. Then what? With 50k, I'll eat for 10, 10 years. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> boy, that was you today. Today, you don't eat fix now. Hmm. Don't worry how I eat uh, it. <laughs> so, um, as I was saying, then the culture, but I really look forward to that. It's serious. I really look forward to that day. Then the Fridays and that's from the vice chancellor. You know, the vice chancellor come, yeah. He comes to just with the students. Hey, so what's up, students? No, 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 no. Tell us this. this. Yo -pi, yo -pi. Yo -pi, that kind of thing. <laughs> then, um, the also the purpose workshop. I, it was a program I did when I was the vice chancellor. They're going to also hold on that particular day. Um, where the students come to find out who they are, what I want to do. This is a part two of it. It's going to happen like there. a seminar. Mm, that, as in, with the that session, the vice chancellor, it's going to be together. Then, 
the, the evening is the bonfire night. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, the bonfire night, you know. <laughs> You know what happens in one fair night? Ah, <sighs> one fair night. Hmm. You get special plan for that one fair night. No, no, you know what they... No, oh, I didn't tell you. The country that we have is Ada and Lolo. We get... No, Dickie and Lolo. <laughs> then, the one fair night, we're going to do our face of music. We're going to get the macho men. They'll be wrestling. C can I... Uh, yes, you can come now. Macho man. As far as you can carry all those things. No, I don't have a problem. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> and um, that particular night, you know what's special about that night? Yes. Although we're going to be introducing big, bold, beautiful, like you know, you're fat, you think you're fat, and um, you know what it takes to be out big and bold, you know, you're going to come with them that particular night and um, show yourself. That is cool. Show yourself. Mm. Then, Imagine fast ladies, but yeah. walking. Yes. And <laughs> <laughs> um, then the, the, the Saturdays, um, the SUG night. That is the biggest event, you know. Well, we're working on big artists, you know. Yeah, yeah, working on big artists. <laughs> uh, but we'll not say the name. You said working on. Okay, no, no, no. Big artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we'll see what, yes, yes. Yeah, working on. Uh, whatever I want to say. <laughs> it's going to be big. When know? is the days? Tw the 28th to 4th of July. Oh. 4th of July. You'll be there, right? 4th of July. Okay. And, um, 4th of July. And the Miss uh, Miss Music is gonna be holding that particular day. Mm -hmm. Then upcoming artists too that are good will be performing on that same night. And um, a lot is gonna be happening that day. So that's just a rundown of the SUG week. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. So um, let me tell them, we should come more. <laughs> far wild near. Okay, I say far wild. Okay, far wild. Near. <laughs> you know, this girl is funny, man. Sorry, Her Excellency. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry. We, I think I have to just draw us back a little. Mm. Yeah, um, we learned you were someone, or should I say, invited for uh, to the courts. Why? Courts? Yeah. What court? For the Federal High Court for the whole this thing, Noble's case that you sued the Vice Chancellor. No, okay. Um, Noble, okay, the thing is still, still on, um, it's, it's on process anyway. He, uh, the, I was invited to court. Federal High Court, but you know all these things. Uh, he he didn't go to this High Court inside the school, so and he's already seeking call, um, for under, for a court that doesn't really have a jurisdiction inside. So, so the long process, so it's something that will come later later. So the young man is so confused that he doesn't know anything about jurisdictions. He jumps to into every gutter he sees and just takes the leap, not minding the consequences. I hope other people coming up wouldn't have him as a role model, though. So, um, Precious, Comrade Precious, what advice do you have for young ladies like you that aspire to jump into the game of politics? Wow. Mm. Politics is, as I said, it's challenging. It brings the inner you. You know something? It brings the inner you. It makes you yes, I'm a strong woman. Because you tend to start making decisions, you, 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 you begin to discern, like, what's, okay, is this right, this is wrong, is this, this, this good? Now, young ladies out there, what I want to say, I'm also learning from bigger people out there, too. So, what I want to say to them is, do not be intimidated for whatever reason. If you think you can do it, mm, you can do it. It starts from inside. It starts from inside. And one thing you must know, you need God. Oh, my God. We need God because I don't think I, I'll be standing here today if I don't have God. God is my topmost secret. He's my, he's me. He's, he's, he's my, he's, oh God, oh daddy, daddy, oh <laughs> God, uh, see God, God, you need Him. So, um, what are your advices to the students in general of Namdazikui University? What do you have for them? Okay, um, what I want to say is this to, to the students. Um, a lot of them has been misinformed. They don't really know the, the, the you know most times you don't know all these things until you are in it. You are you are in the system. You don't really know what's happening. And um, normal normal students now ah they will say what they will, they will act on what they are being fed with. They will not really they don't really know this. What no. I want to just yes. What I want to say students see students. Mm, 
myself and the other executives, the SRC and the SGC, we have you at heart. And me as a president now, I have, I have the interest of you at heart. And we will try our best to serve you. We will try our possible best to serve you. We want to. We want the best for the school. We want. We also want the best for for you and ourselves and the school administration. So we have to work together with the school administration. I want. I want. I want to them to to ensure that they abide by the rules of the school. And and if they have problems, they can always come to the SUC, C C C and say, look at how can you do this? How can you help? And the SUG will try the best to to go to the um, school and say okay and the school will come in and see ways that they can instead of protesting or doing this or do that because if they if they continue if they should eventually protest my dear my brother they close down school we stay house six months they still pay this salary Who is they losing? still pay everybody salary come on how will they lose come on wisdom <laughs> how will they lose my brother my sister so please we should not allow what the things that are happening to really push up if you want to, if you want really want to know, you can call any of us see see what happened. We'll give you the full details. We don't want you to judge on based on what you've heard or so you come and say, Okay, okay, this is how things are this is how things are done. So um, so um how do how would the students get to reach any of the schools if they want to reach them? If they have a complaint or a problem or is there any means? Our numbers are flying around now. Oh. We have our numbers uh, flying around. And get to any, get to you say you only SG president, but they, they can give you, but it's in need debate. It will give you, it's not, okay, it's you not an open problem. line, it's an open line now. Damn. So that students can always call in and say and hear their views and complain. It'd be like saying, Now, only women go they lead us for this side, uh, <laughs> they go shoot me over, <laughs> they go shoot God me. Uh, God, <laughs> then now, we don't shoot us, those will be like, quack, quack. Ha! God, be. <laughs> God be. um, so, um. You know, there's this thing they always say that behind a successful man, they have a strong woman. I don't know if the same rule applies for women. Is there any strong man behind this successful woman I think with us here? Yeah? Ah, plenty men. They God, they now God, now <laughs> you man. You know what we mean. God, now man. Okay, my ask and this way: Are you in a relationship? Okay, am I in a relationship? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm in a relationship. That different kind of relationship. <laughs> a different kind of relationship. Like we're talking now, so. Uh -huh. Hey, my friend. Do you have a boyfriend? Uh, <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> boyfriend. Do you have a boyfriend? Well, 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 well. Do I have a boyfriend? The thing is this. As they always say, you know, you know, as they, okay, they call us public figure. No, usually public figures they don't like people praying their public. Before they, they go, if, if I can't say yes, now I can't say no. Before they just come, they go and come say, I see your girlfriend. That girl. Those <laughs> men, they follow up. I beg. So, and then you'll be like, oh, I say, sorry, you know. Um... I can't say anything about that now. Thank you. The way she's blushing, I think she does. Though. I'm blushing, I'm not blushing. Her boyfriend, if you're out there, <laughs> don't worry. She has your great interest in mind. <laughs> she's not denying you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyways, it's been great talking with you, Ms. Comrade Precious Thank you. Wow, it's a privilege, actually. Uh, uh, truly, it's been a privilege. Uh, to politician, be in you're the not a politician. No, no, I don't like politics, though. Um, I'm straight up media. So it's been a great pleasure to be in the midst of this great woman. Am I allowed to call you a woman? Yes, I am now. Uh, this great what woman, do you mean? Uh, the <laughs> first female SUG president of Namjazikwe University, Oka, Anambra State, Nigeria. Damn, we are good. <laughs> Congratulations, baby. Thank you. It's been a real good pleasure. Thank you. Mm. Oh, <laughs> don't be angry, don't be angry. <laughs>